I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra. Thank you for being back with me Thanks today. Thanks for having me again. You're welcome. Today um, on the Chill Spot, we're actually going to talk about fireworks safety since the 4th of July is actually coming up. And did you know, LaShondra, that this <laughs> year will be 243rd anniversary of the 4th of July? Wow. It seems like it should be more for yeah. some reason to me, but that was kind of kind of neat. And um, to start us off, each state has their own laws on fireworks. Yes. So make sure that you stay um, within the guidelines of your right. state. Um, so the first one is you're never going to give fireworks to small children or older adults. Um, and you're never going to point them or throw them at anybody. Even though you would like to, <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're going to make sure to read all of the instructions. Even though you let them off before, go back and read the instructions. Make sure the person lighting them wears eye protection. I personally don't wear eye protection. Maybe it's because of my, my glasses. But please wear them if you need them. And always store your fireworks in a cool, dry place away from your children. Again, away from your... Um, older adults and please be careful of your pets because if you leave them laying around I guarantee you some pets gonna be eating them and also please please be mindful of the residents that have PTSD you know yeah keep a close eye on them during this um, during this holiday yes and next we're gonna talk about picnic safety Okay, you want to wash your hands before preparing any food. Mm -hmm. Do not leave the food out in the sun. Keep perishable items in a cooler. And always supervise the grill. Do not add lighter fluid to the grill when the coals have already been ignited. Right. You know, never grill indoors and keep it away from your house, trees, or your deck. You know, you want to kind of keep it as far out as possible. Mm -hmm. And those are kind of almost common sense. Even though things. I just did that on my deck, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I did notice I that on Facebook. Careful. On Facebook, you did have it out there on, on I was, your deck. I was careful. Yeah. Um, the next thing we're going to address is actually pool um, safety. And also some of these will carry over to the river as well. Yeah. You never want to leave your child or older or unattended near the water, you know, because they have memory loss or certain medical conditions, you know, so you right. want to... Keep supervised mm -hmm. on them all the time. Um, you would like to, you, well, not like, you need to teach or show them to stay away from the drains yes. and make sure that they have drain coverage. I know last year in Branson, there was quite a few children that was getting hurt because of the, I guess it was the electrical system on the boat docks. They were not properly uh -huh. covered yes. and they were getting electrocuted. And please, everyone, you need to know how to do CPR. Yes. That's very critical, you yes, know? Yes, it is. Um, you need to stay out of the water also if you're very tired, um, if you're very cold, or if you're overheated. Yes. You don't want to just dive dive right in there. And if you cannot see the bottom of the pool, the lake, or the river, you know, don't go in. Yeah. You know, you don't need to swim there. That's true. Um, one thing that I'm getting ready to say <laughs> is I knew um, for some reason you don't want to chew gum. Or eat while you're swimming. Well, who's going to want to be eating while you're swimming? It's some people that do it. I, I mean, I can <laughs> see those lawn chairs where you have your beverage yeah. sitting there, but I've never really seen someone with a Subway sandwich <laughs> or something. <laughs> Don't swim alone. You know, I always yeah. have so another, at least one other person mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, you know? safety in numbers. Yes. And then you want to avoid a large meal an hour before swimming. Um, this can prevent stomach cramps yes. at well. Mm -hmm. And um, you want to wear waterproof shoes, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you also want to wear um, your sunscreen, um, a life jacket if you are not a very good swimmer. Yes. Um, I, for one, is I am not a very good swimmer. If I am in a pool, I do not wear a life jacket. But if I am out on the river, you betcha one, yes. I have one on. Yes. And then you also want to use a safety um, floating device. And if you have a small child or even um, on your 
elder adults that your activities may be taking them out to go fishing yes. or to the river or anywhere, please keep an eye on them. Um, they may think that they can go down there and wheel that fish in, yeah. but they're going to be right in that water as well. Yeah, that's true. So um, remember all these safety rules. Um, if you ever had any mishaps happen to you, reach out to us. Um, we would like to hear about them on the um, chill spot. And uh, do you have anything else to, to add about any of this stuff? Except for I know next time you're going to remember not to put your... Well, I can't promise you that. <laughs> Sorry. It's, gonna... it's, 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 it's convenient. We was being careful, you know. It was convenient, so. <laughs> that reminded me around Thanksgiving, you always see those electric. But they say, don't do what I do, you know. That's true. So... That's true. But you see some of those um, electric, um, like, smokers, and they're right oh, there yes, by yes. the pool, right there by the plug-in. Yeah. Or you see someone at Thanksgiving time. I'm, I don't know why I said Thanksgiving with the, with the smoker, but those They big, smoke turkeys. They yeah. have all, I've yes. never had a smoke turkey. Oh, man. I've had a deep fried. You need to have a smoked turkey. I'm going to have to yeah. try that. We may have they to do it do at that. the restaurant up there, Sweetwater. They, they oh, smoke they? them, yeah. Well, we're going to have to take that out and try it. We're going to have to take Gary <laughs> on the road with yeah. us and do a live show that CNA matters, and we're going to see which is best, a deep-fried turkey or a smoked turkey. But please um, just keep everything away from your siding. Yes. Your siding can melt. Keep it away from tree branches. I mean, even if you have to put those little ladders around that, you know, those safety gates, Please do that and um, just watch out for your residents. Make 4th of July a happy and um, safe holiday for everybody. And yes. uh, I'll let you close. And remember, till next time, you matter.